Michelle, and I'm from Viva La Puppet. Basically, I'm a puppet designer, builder, and puppeteer. So every day I get to make puppets. So I thought it'd be pretty cool if we made a puppet together. All right, so first we have to think about what kind of puppet we should make today. Who's on the go? Who's on the go? That's perfect. Okay, so let's do who's on the go. smallest species of armadillo that there is, and he can literally fit in the palm of your hand. Pretty cool creature. To start building, this is what we'll need. Tape, cardboard, plastic. You can get this off of your toys with a Barbie doll box or a magic eraser box. Fur from a fabric strip, teddy bear stuffing, glue on thread, wooden shoes, glue sticks, hole punch, rubber band or elastic, to make the armadillo shell. You can also use origami or construction paper and bead pull out. All right, now it's time to dig in. Let's start with our Pink Armadillo mat. So I cut this out of cardboard. It is a pattern piece. You can find all my pattern pieces on my website. So I cut it out and now let's trace it. We're going to be tracing it on plastic. So you can find plastic like on your action figure box or a Barbie doll box. with any tape that you have around the house. You can use duct tape, you can use masking tape, as long as it's a safety feature. So there's the bottom part of the mouth. I put it right on the tape. And here is the top part of the mouth. And you want to put that right up against it. There you go. And so it's going to look like that. So the one with two holes is where you're going to make the knot on the elastic. 
Pull down on the string, it opens, and then it comes back up. Now it's time to put our mouth and see our pinky on the way ahead. So grab a styrofoam ball about this big with an exacto blade. We'll cut a styrofoam ball. With the elastic part, you're going to go right through that little slice that you just made, like that. And the mouth fits right in there. Now, let's secure our top part of our mouth onto the styrofoam. You're going to grab your glue gun and add some glue right onto the styrofoam. And at the low temperature setting, you'll be done. So it doesn't eat away at the foam. All right, now we just pop our front mouth right in place. Wait for the glue to dry. And our top part of our mouth should come out. Now that our glue is dry on the top mouth, we want to tie off the elastic. Now you want to tie the elastic with just enough tension for the mouth to return back to closed fitting. So right now as that opens, we need to pull the string. And then when you let go, if it returns to the closed position, then you're all set to go. So you want to tie a knot at the top. Just like that. So one more on that side. And let's check the tension one more time. Open. Yep. See right there? If it doesn't return back, we want to make it tighter. So let's tie the knot tighter. Let's add a little glue. Grab your glue gun, and right in that top hole, put a little glue. So the tension stays at that right position. Once the glue dries, then it should keep that tension, and your mouth mechanism is ready to go. Now it's time to move on to the body. Oops, there's a pattern here. You'll find a pattern here. Here's how the nuts are. I know it looks like a funny shape, but don't worry. Once you cut it out and you glue it together, it's going to look just like our pink on the way down. Now, let's cut out our pattern. As you can see, there's different labels on the pattern. You can see where the legs are, where the head is, the neck, the arms. Each 
going to cut these bits right in here. And this bit right here. As well as this one. This one. Over here. And up here. So all of these will kind of look like that. There you go. Or craft store. A nice white fur, whatever you whatever you like, period. So one thing to think about when you're placing your pattern piece on your fabric is where's the head and where's the butt fit? And as the fur, you want it to be going down that way. Like if you were cutting the armadillo, the fur would be going that direction. So let's see, let's turn our fur over. using any marker or pen that you have in the back. Make sure to trace right into those slits that we cut earlier. Right in there. You'll see why pretty soon. see the magic happen soon. All right, let's put our pattern piece aside. Now time to cut our pattern out of our fur. Just cut along all the lines that you just took. And also remember those slits. something like this. Okay, now it's time to glue our body together. So I've labeled on the fur the different parts of the body. So it starts with the head, neck, arms, tummy, legs, and then the body. So basically I want you to start with the arms and the legs. So what we're going to do is grab these two pieces right here and these two pieces right here. So this is the right would be the left arm. Grab your glue gun and let's glue the right arm. Put some glue right on your edge of that slit. Remember to be really careful with the glue gun. It's kind of coming to a slow, kind of keep it on the low setting. And if there's some chance you do burn yourself, it's okay. Don't be too big a thing with the glue gun. Just be really careful. Do the left arm. Put some glue right along that slit. There you go. And let the other side of the arm turn and do this again. Just like that. And like I said, put in a little T right there. Okay, now we're going to repeat the same thing, but now with the legs. Glue just along that slit right here. And let's come up to the legs. And again, glue. And slit. There we go. Those are all the arms and legs. So it should, should look something like this. Okay, now our body starts to come together. It's time to glue 
the tummy and the neck portion. So on the neck portion, grab these two parts up here where we cut those slits right below the head and we're going to bleed them together. So let's put some glue right at one end. to make sure that the glue really binds both sides of the shirt. Tummy, neck, arms, and legs. Now it's time to stuff our pink armadillos. So let's grab some fluff. Pretty much teddy bear stuffing. You can buy it at any craft store or, you know, fabric store. Also, what works really well is cotton balls. So let's grab some of that stuffing. just like this to make sure that it all comes together. That's it. Let's go ahead and look at the body. Okay. All right, now it's time to make the pink armadillo shell armor that goes on his back. So you can find this on my website. It's a textured piece that you can print out, and it looks just like the actual armadillo shell. Or you can cardboard and just paint to make it look like this texture. You can paint it pink, you can paint it really any color you want. Just be creative. You can sponge paint it, you can use crayons, markers, whatever you want. So once we print this out, we want to glue this to our cardboard. So grab some of your scrap cardboard, either a cereal box or a snack bar box, whatever you want. Now grab your glue stick. Let's glue the cardboard. Put this aside, and I'm going to show you this pattern piece that I made on my website. Here's our body armor. I made a leaf shape, and then I cut it into 10 pieces. And on each side of each piece, there are three holes. And you can punch those out with a hole punch. Now it's time to trace this pattern piece onto our texture that we made earlier. So, let's put it right here. Grab a marker. one is its own puzzle piece. At this point, you might want to number them so you don't get confused. And this is what our body shell parts look like. Grab your needle and thread, and let's weave our armor shell together. You want to put 
actually need to recall this on top. Make sure it is to insert the needle from the top to the bottom. Now, I'm going to put just a small dab of glue right there. And I'm going to push down with this. Grab your needle and keep reading. Make sure the next piece goes underneath. That means we're going to put the needle from the top to the bottom. Alright, now you leave your middle hole. You're going to continue this weaving method all the way through all the parts on both ends. And then the top. Always start from the top to the bottom on these pieces. And then on the middle one, you're going to do the reverse. You're going to go from the bottom to the top. Weave the needle. Just like that. And the pieces should stack together nicely. If you get confused, remember, you've numbered them, the pieces, so you can count one, two, three, and then repeat the cycle. Top, middle, top. This is what your cell armor looks like once you finish weaving it all together. You can see it has great movement. Once we've threaded this all together, now it's time to attach our armor shell to the body. So let's grab our puppet from earlier. And now, grab our shell and put it on top of the puppet. You can see how it's just pretty straight. What you want to do is bend the pieces from the center to the edge. So bend our pieces, it's giving a little bit of a curve. Like that. See how it moves better? Okay, so now it's time to attach our shell. First, you're going to attach the tip of the nose to the top of the mouth. You can see how many little noses we have in there. Let's see. So let's put a dab of glue right there into our hole. is attach the back of our shell. Let's grab a butt plate. So out of that textured material from earlier in the cardboard, just cut out a round shape. And that's going to be our butt plate. So let's push our armor aside. And right between the legs, you're going to glue this plate right there. So then the armor can go really nice with it. Let's do that right now. Put it all over your butt plate. And let's do it right in there. Just about there. Now it's time to attach this back part of our armor to the fur. Grab some glue. This is your rather long number 10. And let's put it right up against serves as cheeks too. It's kind of like a cheek on the related part. Push down on that last armor plate and hold that for a few seconds. All right, you can see our pink armadillo starts to take shape. So here are the hands and feet, kind of in the shape of and now I'm going to fold it right down the center, just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing to each finger. I'm going to bend them right down the center. And they're going to all come out looking like this. And now I have two hands, two legs. Here's our 
character. And then with that, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to bend it right down the middle, and you have a nice little curl. Okay. Now let's attach our hands. Remember those tubes from earlier? That's where you're going to put the hands in. Just get some glue. You can do right in those tubes. Now we can cinch our fur together. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Grab your tubes. Get some glue. bend that soft part, take that, and we'll just put some glue right there. So let's put some glue right on the back part of your hair. And now we can attach our curl. Put that right there. Okay, now our pink arms all starting to look good. part. It's time to attach our eyes. But first, let's cut away at some of that fur where your eyes are going to go. Take that off. Grab your glue gun and then put some glue right in there. Now grab your bead or pin or whatever you want to make that. Gives them a lot more personality. Now that we have our puppet, it's almost time to puppeteer. So grab your wooden skewer and let's rig our puppet so it can move. Grab one skewer and just put it at the bottom of the head. Hope it's you, the styrofoam ball. secure our, our rod and we can't get it. So let's add some glue. Put it on your rod. And then you can move it over here. <coughs> this is just a little off there. So now you can puppeteer the head and the mouth by pulling down on your string and holding the head down. Then you can give it a funny voice like, hey, I'm a puppet guy. So now go out and have fun with your puppet. Hey guys, I'm a pink arm gorilla. Do you know it? And that is how you make a pink arm gorilla. I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Michelle from Viva La Puppet. See you next time.